On a warm autumn day, a hedgehog and a stork met on a glade by the river. The stork regarded himself as subtle and exalted. One day he was walking around the swamp, thinking profoundly about the meaning of life, high matter, and the importance of self-actualization. He so relished his words and held his head high that he didn't take notice of the hole under his feet and fell into it, becoming completely soiled by the swampy mud. The hedgehog, meanwhile, was running along the shore, musing about the benefits of the necessities of life. High matter and self-realization would not feed him until the winter hibernation, but worms and mushrooms? Easily. He was so keen on finding food that he didn't notice the oak tree growing ahead and smashed his forehead on the root. At that time, a frog jumped on a rock and began to make fun of both. He said that he could look up into the sky and think of high things, but at the same time, he could hunt down mosquitoes and feed himself in this way. The frog bragged so much that it angered the stork, who tried to grab the frog with his long beak. The frog squawked shyly and rolled off the rock into the grass. There the wicked hedgehog, with a bump on his forehead, stood ready. The little frog barely had enough time to hide from him under a snag. All this time, Mushroom Man, who had come to the forest for chatterelles, was watching the fuss on the shore. Looking at the stork, he thought, he who gets too far off the ground and soars in dreams risks one day losing the ground beneath his feet. Watching the hedgehog, Mushroom Man mused, he who focuses solely on the problems of everyday life loses the opportunity to see many beautiful things around himself. And the frog made him understand that the luckiest person is the one who not only knows how to combine the high and the lowly, but also finds a way to support himself by doing what he loves. However, Someone else was listening to the conversation in the clearing, whom neither the arrogant stork, nor the concentrated hedgehog, nor the mocking frog noticed. It was the little spidey, who was industriously hanging his nets between the branches of a large breech tree and listening silently to the chatter below. He knew exactly how many meters of weave were needed to be completed and how often to check them to repair any damage in time. He could see the beautiful scenery from the top of the beech tree as the clouds floated over his head and the trees around him fluttered their leaves in the wind. He dreamt of the spider woman he would one day meet and of the pile of spiderlings to come. And Spidey didn't brag to anyone, even if he really wanted to. He calmly did his business, made plans, and was perfectly happy without showing off his merits. After looking at all of this, Mushroom Man thought that Spidey was probably the wisest inhabitant of the forest. He threw the heavy basket on his shoulder and went home thinking about this. The happiest person in this life is the one who takes care of the essentials, finds time for high things, and can keep his mouth shut at the right time.